But here comes Clayton Kershaw trying to pitch the Dodgers to another series win, trying to get him to 23 and 4 in this month of August. The last time a team won 23 games in a calendar month was six years ago, and Cleveland did it in September. And golfing one high in the air down the left field line. Chris Taylor's over. He's got room for the first out of the night. That was a very dramatic first bat. Wow. <laughs> that just, was just for a dramatic. simple fly out to left. Absolutely. You're right. Absolutely. Uses 3 2 to Kennedy. It is swung on and missed. Strike three, two out. That was all set up, Joe, by him showing the ability to throw the slider back door and the fastball back door. And then all of a sudden, he goes back to his bread and butter, which is the slider right under the barrel. Fam at second, Walker at first, and two outs. We'll see if Lurtis can take advantage. His hot hitting down the stretch continued last night. He delivered that RBI double in the fourth inning. Gurriel lifts it in the air to center field. Strolling on in is James Outman. He makes a catch and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, two walks. He'll be looking for a classic Merrill Kelly effort to right the ship after Zach Gallen ran into Stormy Seas here last night. Yeah, he's looking to get on track here. This will be a nice start for him if he can blast this game out and get that W tonight. Much needed win here tonight for the Diamondbacks. He said to lead it off. He is leading the National League with that OPS over 1,000, but was 0 for 4 last night. Bouncing ball. Ahmed gets there, twirls, throws. Walker comes off the bag and bets his arm with a leadoff infield hit. One out here in the bottom of the first, and Smith strokes a single in the left field. First and second with one out. And run producer. He's knocked in eight over his last four games. Now the 1 1 pitch. Muncie swings, ground ball to first. Walker gloves, throws to short for one. The return throw to first is in time. It's picked out of the dirt by Kelly. Merrill is reluctant to walk back towards the dugout in anticipation of a Dodger challenge. Boy, that's a tough play right there for Merrill Kelly. Not only that, but throwing the ball from shortstop to a pitcher. There's no way that's going to be. Safe call. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. And of course, trying to get it going against his old team, where he spent the first eight and a half years of his career. He rolls it past. Christian Walker toward the right field corner. Kicks off the sidewall. Bet scores. Muncy will be held at third, arriving at second base is Peralta. He's doing the Freddy, and the Dodgers are doing a one to nothing lead. Peralta in the month of August started to pick it up, hitting right around 250. Second and third, Jason Hayward coming up. Kelly turns it up with a fastball, and he's probably regretting it. Two run single, Jason Hayward trying to make it a double. He does. It's three to nothing. Three two out runs for the Dodgers in the first. Look at the old man hustling, Joe. And really, that was because of Max Muncy being able to hustle down and not give up on the inning, even though it's a double play type baseball. Miguel Rojas lately has added a good bat to his exceptional glove. He's got a mini five game hitting streak going close to 400 in that time. That's up the middle. That is through and a base hit for Rojas. The stolen base turns into a run. Four to nothing Dodgers bottom of the order getting it done. And how about Miguel Rojas who came into the month of August with 12 RBIs on the season. He's got 12 this month. Reaches out and pokes his ball to left center field. That's going to split the gap and make its way to the wall. And for Max Muncy it is a seventh consecutive game with an extra base hit. And he goes the other way again like you touched on earlier. David Peralta coming up. He doubled, knocked in a run and scored one in his first at bat. Bouncing ball that gets through and Peralta's driven in his second run in his many at bats. It's five nothing. Max Muncy in to score. They got to stop messing with the freight train. I know they've seen a lot of his home movies in that Diamondback uniform. And he's playing aggressive and recognizes the change up and doesn't try to pull it. That's a pitch that usually hits on the ground to the right side. Chris Taylor bobblehead night. It is Taylor's 33rd birthday. On 2-0, Taylor ropes one down the line. That's a fair ball that'll scoot to the corner. Outman on his horse, giving the wave, heads home. Relay heads home, it's not in time. And a double for Taylor makes it six to nothing. He takes third on the throw, having a successful bobblehead night. Only fitting, Joe. Got to be able to show out on his bobblehead night, but they might need to make another bobblehead because he's getting his foot down early and often. Corbin Carroll will face Kershaw. Kershaw one hit allowed and four shutout. 
And then Corbin, this will carry out to center for Altman. Still carrying Corbin. Carroll sends one out of here. Corbin Carroll, a home run here at Dodger Stadium, is 23rd. And the Diamondbacks are on the board. Well, it's how strong this kid is. He gets that curveball on the outer edge part of the plate. Yeah, this ball is away. And he just doesn't try to pull it, just stays with it. Look at that pitch, down and away. Good Gets pitch. him with one of his best sliders of the night. Clayton Kershaw is able to finish five innings in this game, in position to get win 209. And now Merrill's in a bases loaded, no out jam. James Outman, the hitter, he homered here last night. Here's the 2 0. Fly ball in the right center field, fairly routine. Corbin Carroll makes the catch. Tagging going to third base is Hayward, and he has been thrown out. Carroll with a terrific throw. Peralta thrown out, but in the score is Muncy. And it's now 7-1. to one. And who's leading off? Well, Mookie Betts. Mookie tonight, one for two, a walk and a run scored. That uh -oh. ball is absolutely drilled. Mookie Betts pounds one way gone. And it is with some extra thunder that he reaches a new career high. 36 home runs, Mookie Betts. And there's a high fly ball to left field headed toward Manny Wood. Gone! Will Smith, his 17th home run of the year. The route is on. As we go to the ninth, and Victor Gonzalez comes on the pitch. I have to see Gonzo on the mound, especially he's going to be a key weapon. Dave Roberts needs to find who's going to be that high leverage guy from the left side, especially in the bullpen beat. Well, Gonzalez works a 1-2-3 ninth inning. The Dodgers beat the Diamondbacks 9-1. Clayton Kershaw is tied with Don Drysdale for second all-time. 209 wins in a Dodger uniform.